Hey folks, before we begin this edition of today's uh, Muslim Challenge, could you just go over and hit the subscribe button? Thank you. If you are wrong, would you really like to know? Uh, when you pose this question to uh, certain individuals, uh, and in this case, uh, Muslims, you really don't get a, a, a real answer. At least I haven't. I've asked this question and posed this question in several different ways. If you were wrong, would you really like to know? And I'm getting a non-answer or an avoidance on this. But it's such an important question and it shows whether or not we are able to examine our own beliefs critically and uh, see whether or not they can test uh, they can stand up under uh, under scrutiny. And when you begin to ask Muslims these type of questions on the existence of Muhammad or uh, the validity of the Quran or whatever, they, uh, they really seem to have uh, real problems in uh, taking their own view and examining it, examining it critically. And uh, there is a discussion that's, uh, that I may be participating in. I haven't... Uh, we haven't finalized any of the details, but uh, I've been challenged to uh, by a individual Muslim on to defend the uh, crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ and whether or not there were eyewitnesses. And I think that can be uh, easily done by just examining the gospel accounts. But uh, when you consider crucifixion, and I just want to pull this up for you just so that we can take a look at it. Uh, why would anyone make up this story? Now, if Jesus was not crucified outside the walls of Jerusalem, why would Paul or any uh, other make up such a story about a crucified God? Now, you have to consider exactly how people viewed crucifixion in the first century. It was reserved for the very worst of criminals. I mean, like, it wasn't just he was beheaded. Beheading was uh, actually reserved for Roman citizens. But crucifixion was used on traitors uh, and non-citizens, the, the uh, shall we say, the scum of the earth, the dregs of society. Uh, a person was taken out and humiliated and mocked, and they were crucified naked on a cross. So, if you're going to talk about a, a savior of the world, a deliverer of mankind, uh, you would not uh, you would not have a person who was uh, crucified. It just makes absolutely no sense. The Bible teaches, uh, or Paul taught, and yes, I'm going to quote Paul. I make no apologies for that. Uh, Paul wrote uh, his um, his letters. Uh, between, uh, well, 50 uh, or 45 to 50 A.D. to uh, 65, uh, 68 A.D. So this is within a generation or in the same generation that Jesus actually lived. And there we have no uh, contemporary evidence with Paul that deny that Jesus wasn't crucified. There may be some at the la uh, late uh, first uh, century, but most of it's second and third century, where you have uh, Gnostic writers who actually believe that Jesus didn't have a real body and such. And the only ones who deny the crucifixion of Christ are those people who, uh, uh, who argue uh, that Jesus did not exist, uh, a few Gnostic heretics, and of course, Muslims. And of course, the Quran stands for fall, or rather, Islam. If Jesus was crucified outside the walls of Jerusalem, then Islam is false. There, there's no, there's no getting around it. You, uh, uh, so again, why would anybody make up this story? Let's look again. If Jesus was no, was not crucified outside the walls of Jerusalem, why would Paul make up such a story about a crucified God? when you consider how people viewed crucifixion. Now, 
challenges to my Muslim friends is to basically answer the question. If Jesus was not crucified outside the walls of Jerusalem, as recorded in all the Gospels, as is as, as recorded in the book of Acts, and, at it, and is testified in uh, most of the uh, letters uh, in the New Testament, why would anyone make up such a story? It would be so easy uh, to disprove. So anyways, that's the challenge. Uh, and let's see whether or not we get an answer. Uh, you know, quite honestly, I'm not holding my breath that I'll get an answer from Muslims. So again, I asked the question, and I know I'm being repetitive, but you got to keep asking, my friends. My Christian friends, keep asking the Muslims this question. Keep pounding them and see whether or not they uh, will really answer it. If Jesus was not crucified outside the walls of Jerusalem, why would Paul or any other, such as Peter, make up such a story about a crucified God when you consider how people viewed crucifixion in the first century? With that, we'll close. Have a great day, and I'm waiting for an answer. Okay, let's just bring this to a stop again. God bless, guys.